Okay, I'm going to show the difference between truncated and overflow. I'm going to make two global variables. One I'm going to call B byte, and I'm going to make it a byte data type. So basically, if I make it a byte, it's like smaller than a normal integer. So it can only take values from 0 to 255. So you can't save a number bigger than that inside a byte. The second one, I'm going to declare a string variable. And I'm going to limit it to five characters. So you can't save a value or word in there that has more than five characters. Okay, no more than five characters. Okay, I'm gonna add two buttons. This button I'm going to use to display my byte variable. This button I'm going to use to display my string variable. So when the form is created, when it creates, I'm going to give values for B byte. I'm going to set it to 255. And I'm going to set, I'm going to give a value for a string. I'm going to give it the value A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so because this string variable can only take five characters, it should only display the A, the B, the C, the D, and the E. So it will basically truncate the F and the G. There will not be enough space to be able to save the F and G in this variable. So let's first go to the string one, button two. I'm just going to show message. Show message the A string. Show me each day string. Okay, so basically it truncated the rest of the word. It truncated the F and the G. Because there were no space for the F and the G inside the S string because we only declared it so that we can save five characters. So if something like that happens. Maybe we can say it was truncated. So it's truncated. The byte one, if I make it 256, remember it can only save numbers up to 255. If I try to save a 256 in there, it will basically tell me that I'm not allowed, out of bounds basically, the sub range bounds. So I'm going to leave it as 255 for now. Gonna go to my byte button. I'm gonna say show message. Right, I'm gonna show message the B byte. To be able to display that, I need to convert it from. I'm gonna use the int to str function. Okay, it will show the 255, which is fine. But now, before I'm going to show it, I'm going to add one to my 255. So when I add one, it's going to overflow back to zero again. So if I add two more, it should overflow back to the value of one. Okay, so this is called overflow. Okay, 
yeah this is called overflow because it will um, flow over to the next one so we are basically can't save a value bigger than 2.5 inside a byte if that happens and we add something it's called an overflow if we have a string set to a certain size and we save something that's bigger than what we can actually save in that variable it will be truncated the rest will be thrown away okay, so it will not be saved this example the a b c d and e was the first five characters so they will be saved but the f and the g will be truncated it will be thrown away